professors who do it get it completely. I mean, they, they, look, they're getting emails from students all around the world from different walks of life, from people in, in sort of deprived conditions of life who are finding this to be a lifeline for them. So that is very inspiring and you know, really motivating for the faculty who get into it. But you know, convincing the ones who haven't tried it and the rest and the university administrations that this is game changing for universities. It's magnifying their impact. It's an incredible opportunity to do good in the world. You know, hard, you know, it takes a while. And also changing the medium. Convincing, we first had to convince people that the 50 minute lecture, which is what they're used to, is probably the least efficient way to communicate information between one person and another, known to man. That is, you, you, on the internet, you need to break it up. So every six minutes or so, we try to have the lectures you know, into chunks, at the end of which there's a quiz or something interactive, something for the student to do. It works great, but you know, you, so you have to persuade professors, this is what you really want to do. It, and by and large, the ones who try it find it very satisfactory. And then, you know, courses, why should they be 13 weeks long? Because that's the length of a semester that was a semester, the concept that was part of a 19th century agrarian economy that sent people home to work on the farm in the summer. You know, this is completely outmoded. People like their courses in four week segments and six week segments. And then finally, the killer is why should these courses move in a, in a rigid schedule where everybody's doing the same material one week at a time through the six, eight, ten, whatever weeks, number of weeks there are in the course? Why not let people have it any time? Why start the courses in September and January instead of having them available to start at any time? This is the internet. If you went to Netflix, and they said they had 22,000 movies, of which 17 are available now, you'd be pretty disappointed. And yet that's the experience that people have with the fixed sessions we offer on Coursera. So now we've started to move to on-demand. We got our first 10 courses out in an on-demand format. I hope over the next two years we'll convince our partners that we should put it all that way. It should all be that way.